Hey everyone, Lara Pennock here. Welcome to the T-Rex tutorial. Before we get started, I want to take a second to welcome the new members. Jackie, Brandy, Claire, Bethany, Diana, Maxine, thank you so much for joining Fairy Fox Design as a supporting member. This video is for you. If you are interested in joining Fairy Fox Design, check down in the comments to find a link that'll have all that information. T-Rexes have all kinds of great colors and designs, but it's mostly in profile. So I really needed a forward-facing T-Rex, and here it is. We're going to start with a triangle. The top is going to be kind of the bridge of the nose, and I like to place that right in the center so that I know where to go. I go run up, grab that, and then come back and around. I'm giving it a little bit of softness to the edges because I want it to feel natural. I like to put my base in with a one stroke because I feel like that helps me do the shading. Now imagine that this was the face of an elephant. This next shape is a lot like an elephant ear. And what it's going to give us is it's going to give us the brow ridge of the dinosaur as well as the outer jaw. Once we have those upper brow ridges done, we want to just put in the top of the head. It's going to be narrow and small because a dinosaur's brain is so little, it only needs this little skull in there. We want this dinosaur to have his mouth wide open. And the lower jaw on a T-Rex is actually quite a bit smaller than the upper jaw so that it fits inside. Now we're ready to put in the arms. Now T-Rex arms are tiny, but because of foreshortening and because of the placement that we're using, I'm making them just a little bit bigger. Instead of a typical hand, a T-Rex only has two claws, a smaller one and a larger one. And so we wanna make sure that we grab that. I'm adding a little bit of a soft curve to the shape of the hand because I want there to be almost like, this is kind of, not to say he's a friendly T-Rex, but it's not going to be as terrifying for a little kid if there was a realistic T-Rex on his face. The upper claw is going to be smaller than the bottom one. So we have the finger and then we're going to add for the claw. I'm using a half inch flat brush to put this in. It gives me the same colors, but just a little bit darker because I'm not picking up as much of my one stroke. Next, I'm loading up a small filbert with red. It's also a one stroke, so you can see a little bit of pink, a little bit of red. And this is just grabbing the gums. I want to make sure that this T-Rex has that bright red inside of his mouth. And then for the tongue, T-Rexes have these great long tongues, and I don't want it to just be hanging out. So I move it up and down inside the mouth and then just pull it out a little bit towards the eye. One of the things that we can do to make this T-Rex look really mean and a little bit more realistic is to give it very small eyes. We don't want to have these giant eyes or this T-Rex is going to become a baby T-Rex, which honestly would look absolutely fantastic and we should totally do that too. But now with a just a little bit of a darker green, I'm adding these teardrop shapes onto the upper ridge of the brow. I want it to just look really intense. And then I can use that same color to go and redo the outline to just add a little bit darker. This color I'm loading is that same green, but it has just a tiny bit of blue and it's giving us that little bit of depth and shadow. Next, I wanna add some texture. We need texture and we could do this with a stencil, but here you can see I'm just tapping on a few little dots of paint and then moving them around with my finger to make it look more subtle. And that's it. Let's just add a little bit of red to those pupils and that's going to make those eyes become really intense. Now we wanna get our claws in. So this is a little bit of tan and white one stroke. You can do this in solid white, but I find that the tan helps knock it back just a little bit so that it looks more like a fingernail or claw instead of the bright white of the teeth. Once we have those all nice and sharp, we get to go ahead and add the teeth. Now a T-Rex's front teeth are actually just a little bit smaller than the ones on the side. And so, since this is a front view, they all end up looking about the same size. Getting these little tiny details right is what's going to help our T-Rex really say, this is who I am. As we go back from that front, we want the teeth to get smaller, and that's going to give us the sense of perspective that this T-Rex really is coming out of the back of the face. 
We want to make sure we add those sharp teeth to the top and the bottom of the mouth. And then we can just add some fun little knuckle marks to show that this T-Rex can bend those claws. As long as I have the white on the brush, I like to go ahead and add a second layer to my texture. I want to go ahead and anywhere that the light would hit, I want to add just a little bit of highlight. I can do that on the fingers and on the brow ridge and on the nose and on the eyes. And at the end, I will add my final highlights. But right now, I've already got all of this white on. Let's go ahead and use it. Starting the outlining is one of the most critical points. I like to make sure that everything else is kind of dry so I'm not going to be smearing as I'm trying to add this outlining. I add the nostrils by doing just a simple dot and then curving it in. That gives it the chance to point away from the center of the face. Then after I have the nose in place I go ahead and I work on the eyes. I'm just adding the thinnest little mark in the angle down towards the nose and that's going to make this t-rex look angry Which now we can come across and just with the thinnest lines we can add a little bit of weight to the lines but we're really not trying to take on a lot of attention to the outlines we just want to create a little bit of a boundary between the different parts of the face so we as we do this outline we want to make sure that we get whatever lines are on one side of the face onto the other side of the face Underneath the eye, we can add some little wrinkles, and that's going to show that this eye is open. And it's just very reptile to have that skin that's going to wrinkle. Once we're happy with the way the first half of the face looks, now we just have to mirror it on the other side. Once we have the upper jaw done, we can bring in the lower jaw. So just outlining the outside and then the inside gives us that separation from this is the outside of the face and this is the inside of the face. We want to make sure that we catch that the front of the tongue is folded in front of the back of the tongue. And we do that with our outlining. Getting perfect outlining on these teeth can be a little intense. And so I like to just outline one side or even just to do a straight black mark in between each of the teeth and that will communicate that just fine. Now for the outlines on these little hands we want to just keep it nice and thin. We can add some little bubbles right around the fingers to make it look like the skin has bunched up a little bit and add a couple of dashes on the claws. These little bits of texture really go a long way to making this look interesting instead of just flat. We want to make sure those claws are sharp, so be very clean with your edges, especially at the tip. Now with a really dilute black on my filbert, I can go in and just knock back a couple places. I want to add that shadow inside of the mouth so that there is some shadow in there because the upper jaw will be shading it from the light source. Or even underneath the arms if you wanted to try and make these arms look 3D. And here you can see with those simple steps we get this awesome T-Rex. We can change the color of the T-Rex or even the proportions to make it more of a monster. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take a second to subscribe or comment. Let me know how you liked it and I can't wait to see what you paint.